Hey everybody here, Ducks, and we'll be talking about the artifact uh, spec for the Feral Druid, Fangs of Ashaman, or Ashaman, whatever you want to say. Uh, so we start right off uh, the bat, and there's here this one is a little bit more complex than normal. Actually, let me finish this letter here. Ooh. All the A's on, on this display are for AoE. Uh, the reason why I did that is because I, I felt the AoE for a Druid, Feral, right as we speak on the first build, is inexistent at, at the beginning. So these three talents might be huge for you, depending on how you do things, when you le especially when you level. If you're going to be leveling out there and you want to go and get really, like, gather a ton of mobs and just, like, AoE them down, well, your AoE is just not good for that at all right now. So those three might be very important for you. And if you're going to do that, what I would suggest is going, uh, again, just quickly, that route through here and then pick this one up and then go obviously this way back that way you get a lot of good talents and you uh will be doing good all the d's in there actually uh, we've finished what i was saying actually all the d's are for defensive cooldowns the h is for uh, it's to increase your uh, main heal which is healing touch and the s is situational stuff uh where certain situation might apply to but it's not necessarily a dps buff well it's not and everything else is DPS. Uh, so either your general as a whole or DPS single target. But yeah, those three are AOEs, uh, these, uh, which is Shadow Trash. Tra uh, Trash has a chance to release part of Ash Main's soul, causing all enemies within eight yards to take 6.1k shadow damage every 0.7 uh, seconds for three seconds. So you get four procs of this thing. Uh, so again, not a bad thing. You you definitely want it, but again, uh, at the beginning, again, because the single target is so strong, the only thing I would want more is to increase that so that I'm just kicking the shit out of them single targets. So I don't need to do AOE because they're all gonna die so fast single target that ain't gonna be nothing left. <laughs> so, but again, as you go along, eventually, if you get like to a pool with 20 or 30 mobs, I can understand why you would want to use all the AOE to at least get a little bit of damage in. Uh, the other one is Open Wounds, and it does is when uh, uh, you rip a target, the fangs of Ashamane uh, tear... Actually, no, this one is not an AOE. What the hell? I think I messed up here. It's this one here. Yeah, this is the AOE one. Sorry, not this one. And this is actually a Sharpened Claws. Increases the damage of swipe by 5%. Again, it doesn't change the, the path that you want to take. You want to go that route, pick up this one here, and then go this way to get all the AoE ones. Uh, but again, that's not what I would do. If I was leveling, I would actually go some other routes. The other thing you got to think, too, is that as you go along, the further along you are in your weapon, the more artifact power it's going to cost you to actually level your weapon. And if you have a really shitty AoE, that might not be a very good idea to do that. So as much as I want to buff the single target, yeah, it might be better doing this first one that I just showed you. Uh, if not, let's go back to here. And w which way I would start if I was going single target and I wouldn't care about AOE, I would start that way. And I would pick up this bad boy right here, which is Razor Fangs, increases the damage of rip by 5%, three ranks for 15%. Then I would go this route up here and pick up this one. This one I think is one of the biggest one for me, for me personally. Tiger's Fury generates an additional five energy every one second for three seconds, and there's three ranks of this. So whether it's, I think all I can see is that it's going to be 15 energy every one second for three seconds. So you're getting 45 energy every time you use this on top of the 60 I think it's already giving you. Yeah, it already gives you 60. So it's basically full energy bar. Bam. Clink. Okay. Let's go. And then again, it's not like it's not needed right now. You definitely are energy starved. Just in, like, just It's just good enough to actually be able to do stuff right now. But that would allow you to be able to do a bit more. And actually use that some of those AoEs if you really want to. But again, they're really costly and they don't really hit for it all that much. So you got to be careful with that. Then after that, I would actually go the other way. This route. And pick up. Tear the Flesh increases the damage of Rake by 5%, 3 ranks for 15 total. Then I would go this route to 
sharpened claws like we just talked about earlier that's the first aoe one that you would get increases the the damage of swipe by five percent three ranks are 15 and definitely needs it then this one here again i'm saying all this though but there's a talent in the tree for uh, feral druids that is not working right now which is called bloody uh bloody swipe i think let me check just to make sure bloody slash sorry it replaces swipe uh, and it would actually help quite a bit it does way more damage than the other one does but again until we see it we can't really say anything but right now as it stands we it doesn't work so after that we're going this route keep going up right from the okay actually i didn't tell you what feral instinct was three ranks for berserk also increases all damage dealt by five percent three ranks for 15 total so again that's a very good talent as well open wounds when you rip a target, the fangs of Ashamane tear the wound open, causing your target to open an extra 100% uh, damage from your bleed effect for five seconds. Then after that, keep going straight. You have no choice still, right? We're going straight up and we're going for a feral power. Increases the critical strike damage, a chance of shred by 5%. Three ranks for 15 then I'm going, it depends at this point. If you're still struggling and you cannot keep yourself alive to save your life, then go up here and pick up uh, Healing Touch. Initially, when I started, again, before I got the artifact, it was night and day difference with before and after. Before, it was ridiculously, stupidly hard. I was having problems doing anything. And then after I got the artifact, it was super easy. It was just like blasting mobs left, right, side. I went against some, some, some pretty tough silvers and I just was rocking them out was barely losing any health really easy again it just depends right if you're still struggling afterwards then maybe go here because this is huge if you're struggling because that will heal you 45 percent more with uh with healing touch so not a bad thing and again it's it, it, it reminded me a little bit at the beginning it reminded me when i was playing ellie shaman but ellie shaman that was after i got the weapon I was still struggling and the healing surge was healing for nothing and but the thing is their healing surge uh, talent was around here it was like one or two talents away on their weapon so it's pretty quick that they buffed that thing and they fixed it for 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 the feral druid it's another story because it's near the end of the damn thing it's horrible so again you got to be able to keep yourself alive and if not then go that route but you shouldn't be a, you should be able to be fine completely fine so if you are don't take that and take this here buff again buff your trash right each target hit by your trash reduces the energy cost of swipe by 2% for the next 4 seconds. So you're getting a ton of energy back so that you can keep using trash, which is good. And again, if you buff it uh, with this here eventually, it's going to be even better. Again, it's all about trying to get to a better spot with the RAOE uh, if you can. Then after that, you have here Ashamine's Bait. bait. Ashamine's Bait. <laughs> when your ferocious bite uh, target the spirit of ashamane has a chance to copy a shadowy version of rip on your target so you, you just try to get the finishing touch on it with your ferocious bite or whatever and then bam it's gonna give, add you a bleed on it if it's not dead really nice then after that we're going this route Oops. Again, I would basically not take this talent unless you absolutely struggle with healing or you have a very uh, healing f uh, intensive fight that you might need this for. But if not, you should not be uh, needing this at, at this point. Then you should go this route and then go that route for the rest of, the, of them. But again, I hope that was useful for you guys. It, it, Feral Druid, first impression, that's all that was. So again, it will change. And then based on those changes, We'll reassess and make another one but based on what i saw so far this is what we that's what we're that's where we're going okay thanks for watching guys if you find that useful make sure you thumbs up and again see you later